Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Amilcar. How are you? I'm fine. All right. Awesome. What? Yes, that's cool. This is the last day, right? So. Sorry yes. to hear that. I'm sorry? I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> yes, me too. But uh, it has to finish, right? Because you have to have vacations, right? But I hope to see you next year, all right? So don't worry about that. Have yes. been very, have been very nice with us. Uh, you have been a good teacher. Thank you very much, Amilcar. I do really appreciate that. Thank you. Really? Yes, thank you. I uh, I do my best, right? Because um, it's it's what I like. So I'm glad that that you notice it. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. What about you, Jorge and Vicky? How are you? How was your day? I don't know if they're here. Hello? Okay, maybe they're not here yet. Well, guys, so it's already eight o'clock. Um, in that case, let's start. And this will be the last day <laughs> that I do this announcement, all right? All right, more people are coming, awesome. So. Uh, remember that you have until today to complete the platform, all right? Today before 11.59 p.m., all right? So um, to complete the platform to be, so in so forth can take you into account for the next course, right? I see that uh, um, a lot of you already completed this. And for those that haven't, please remember that it's until today that you have to complete the 80% of the platform. All right. How are you doing, guys, with the platform? Did you have the chance to um, to finish it? Yeah, teacher, I have finished. All right, then. Awesome. What about the rest? M me too, huh? I finished today in, in this evening. Awesome. Thank you very much. For it. Oops, sorry. I Don't forgot. Worry. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. But I have the, but I have the question. Um, the last day I, I have had a, uh, one email about the, this talk about the the next the next, uh, class for the next year. We need to send information. The same information. Yes, uh, the whole documentation again because every time you start a new course. You have to send that information again. Wait, okay, where, where? Uh, oh, to the same email they sent. Uh, you okay, just re uh, reply to the email with the whole documentation and then you're good. Del mismo okay. correo? Uh -huh. You reply, le responde. Con todo lo que les pide, creo que es do we need? No recuerdo. Yeah, do we need um, the La cartita. That's correct. The application form. Mm -hmm. Pero, uh, fíjese que es la misma persona, Jimmy Martínez. Sí. Sí, es esa misma persona. Okay, I got mm -hmm. it. We need, right. a, we, we, we need a date. We, we have the date for that? Or? Yes, you have, yes. Uh, you have until December 23rd to deliver that information. After that, they will not take you into account to the group. Um, okay. Tienen hasta diciembre 23, mm -hmm. antes, de ser posible antes, all right? Pero el último día es 23, 23 okay, de diciembre. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow I send them. Oh, Tomorrow awesome. Tomorrow I will send. Even better, all right? Yeah. Aún mejor, right? Yes. What about the rest, guys? Yeah. How are you doing? Sure. 
¿Cómo, cómo está el resto? Teacher. Dígame, yes. Sí, teacher, este, yo, en mi caso yo ya, ya mandé las, eh, las planillas. Solo falta que, que me manden lo que es el, el formulario para el módulo 4 a mi correo. Ok, porque sí me dijeron que en esos días ya están este, con, enviando los documentos. De igual manera, si no se los ha enviado, yo le recomiendo que, que pregunte, porque ahorita están bastante ocupaditos y no quisiera que se les pase por alto a nadie, right? porque son bastante, somos, solo en esta hora creo que somos como 10 grupos y cada grupo tiene como 20 personas. Entonces, eh, por favor, pregúntenles. Igual yo ya les, ya les recordé a, a, a ellos, porque yo sé que han estado bastante ocupaditos también. Pero si ustedes lo pueden hacer, mucho sí, que mejor. He recibido, uh -huh. sí, ya, he recibido notificación que me han dicho que, que van a estar pendientes. Ah, ok, perfecto. Entonces, yes, pero igual, yes. si usted ve que se va acercando la fecha y aún no le han enviado los documentos, eh, eh, por favor, avíseles, right, para que para que lo puedan okay. tomar en cuenta para el siguiente. Uh -huh. okay. All right, then. Perfect. Ok, guys. So, si nadie más tiene preguntas, vamos a continuar con lo que les dije que íbamos a hacer el día de ayer. Right? So, today we will cover the final exam. Right? The final exam is a little bit um, big. I'm not going to lie. Right? It has two, four, six, six parts. Right? It has six parts. Uh, the first one is the listening part. Let me click on it so we can see it. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Can you see my screen? Yeah, All right, awesome. Solo comencé a hablar y no les pregunté. I'm sorry. All right, guys. So the first part, it's pretty, um, it's pretty simple. What you need to do is to listen to the conversation between uh, Helen and Mark. All right. And select the best answer. Right. In this case, you had to listen to the conversation that is two or three minutes. I don't remember, and then select the the, the correct uh, the correct answer. Do you have any issues with this one by any chance? Tuvieron algún problema con ese guys? O todo todo bien? All right. Everything good? All right then. For so me, I'm sorry. For me, all right. Okay, cool. All right. So in that case, let's continue. Okay. So in that case, let's go to the next one. All right. In this one, what you needed to do is to complete the sentences. What does it mean by this? Is that you needed to look at the map. All right. It says pop out and you will see the map here, right? We will have one, two, three, four, five streets, right? We have here the first avenue, we have the main street, the center street, second avenue and park street, right? And you could notice the, um, all, the, all the locations, right? The parking lot, the department store, the park, the movie theater, right? Uh, shoes, etc. All right, so based on this image, just give me a minute. All right, I'm sorry. So you had to look at the map, right? To complete the sentences. So let's go to the map and remember, what is the department store? Right, we have different across, from, on, between, next to, on the corner, all. Right, the department store is what is the department store? Here is the department store. ¿A dónde está localizada la tienda departamental? Here, right? Oh. Yeah, the red main building. Street, the corner. Perfect. The corner of Main Street. Amazing. So it's on the corner of Main Street, right? Vamos a ver si es correcta. And it should be, right? 
Wait, it's, it's, it's loading. Just give me a minute. I think, uh, I don't know what's going on. Okay, I think that I have to finish it before doing it. <laughs> All right, so let's finish it. So number, the next one, it says the gas station is, and then we have the space that we need to fill with this of the hospital. So let's look for the gas station. Let's look for the gas station. The gas station, let's see, it's here, right? And here is the hospital. Entonces, ¿a dónde está la gas station? Si está enfrente, ¿cómo se dice? In front of. In front of. Pero ¿de qué otra manera se le decía también? Across from. That's correct. Across from the hospital. All right? Perfect. So, then we need to look for the department store and the bank. All right? Remember, department store and bank. Here is the department store. And here is the bank. Si están a un ladito. Si está a la par, ¿cómo se dice? Next to. Perfect. Next to, right? The department store is next to the bank. Perfect. Thank you very much. Let's go with the next one. It says, yes. the bank is, and then we need the answer, the department store in Maria's restaurant, OIC, right? Because Maria's restaurant is here, all right? And the department store is here. Entonces, ¿a dónde está el banco? The bank is between. That's correct. That's correct. Perfect. Amazing. Between, right? The bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Amazing, guys. Then the next one. The restaurant is, then we need the answer, Main Street and Green Avenue. So, ¿cuál es the restaurant? All right? The restaurant is this one. Okay, es el restaurante. So, dice, the restaurant is Main Street and Green Avenue. Main Street. What is Green Avenue? No la veo. Creo que no está. This is Park Street, this is Second Avenue, Main Street. All right, probablemente hay un error de debate. All right. So, ¿a dónde está el restaurante entonces? On, right? On the corner. No? On the corner. Probémosla entonces. On the corner of Main Street and Green Avenue. All right? And we get an error, mm -hmm. right? This one, it shouldn't be on the corner of Main on. Street. Uh huh, exactly. On. In this case, it's on. On. Main Street. En la última se utiliza en la esquina porque estamos diciendo exactamente las dos calles, right? En la esquina de la calle principal y la avenida verde, right? The restaurant is on the corner of. Si solamente se menciona una calle, solo se dice on. The department store is on Main Street. All right? Hoy sí. No sé si quedó clara esa parte, guys. Que solo se dice en la esquina si se mencionan las dos calles de las que se está hablando. Y si solo se menciona una calle, solo se dice on. ¿Está that clear? I got it. All right, then. Perfect. So, you get it, guys? This is how it should look. Así es como debería de verse esta parte del examen. All right? Do you have any questions with this part? ¿Alguna pregunta con esta parte? No questions? No, Peter. Thank you. All right, then. Perfect. So let's continue with the next one. Thank you very much, Vicky. So let's go with letter C. All right. So we need, in this case, to select the best answer. Right? What are the questions? We need to look at the questions first. Right? The first one is Were your parents born in the US? Then we have a lot, a lot of um, options. For example, it says, no, they weren't. 
My parents were born in Japan. Aquí la, la respuesta que tienen que escoger no es acerca de su información personal, sino que la respuesta que tenga sentido a la pregunta que les están haciendo. Por ejemplo, la primera sería la primera, right? Porque le pregunten, yes. your parents born in the U.S.? ¿Nacieron tus papás en Estados Unidos? Y the first, the first mm -hmm. answers. Oh, That is correct. Thank you very much. So this person is saying, no, they weren't. My parents were born in Japan, right? No, ellos no nacieron ahí. Nacieron en Japón. Perfecto, guys. Congrats. Yes, That's correct. Legend of the Korra. <laughs> That's correct. So my parents were born in Japan, right? That's the answer for the first one. Let's go with the second one. The second says, where did you grow up, right? Wow. And let's look at the answers. Which one do you think it is? I grew up in Tokyo. The, the last. Amazing, thank you very much. So I grew up in Tokyo and that's it, all right? Let's go with the number three. Who can help me read this question? ¿Quién me puede ayudar a leer esta pregunta? Raise your hand. Who was your first English teacher? Perfect. What will be the answer, yes. Astrid? Uh, my first English teacher was Mr. Sato. Awesome. Oh, Thank you. Yes, it's okay. Don't worry. Uh, but yes, that's the correct answer. All right. Who was my first English teacher? My first English teacher was Mr. Sato or Sato. I think it's Sato, but I'm not sure. All right. So let's just say it, Mr. Sato. All right. So who can help me read number four? When did you come to New York? When did you come to New York? Perfect. What will be the answer? New York in 1998. Thank you. So when did you come to New York? Then the answer will be, I came to New York in 1998. And that's it. All right. Who can you Thank you very much. Cuando llegaron. Aha. Uh -huh. Cuando llegaron a Nueva York. Right? Y ya le responde, I am in Nueva York en el 1998. That will be the correct answer. Thank you very much. So let's go with number five. Who can help me read number five? Who are your first days in the US? Thank you very much, Amilcar. And what will be the answer? It was a little scary. Thank you, that's correct. Because he's asking, how, how was your first day in the US, right? How did you feel? Mm -hmm. Exactly, como, como se sintió el primer día en Estados Unidos, right? It was a little scary. I think everybody will feel that <laughs> if they went to a new country, right? The first time, and that's it guys. That's how the exam should look, all right? Everything good on this one, guys? Do you have any questions? Teacher, please, yes. you can explain what's where. What's and where? Yes, what's I can. Where? Please. So let me just take notes on that. Déjeme tomar nota de eso. Y ya casi terminamos el examen y explico eso. Okay? Okay, just thank you. Was, you're welcome. Was, where? Perfect then. Okay, so let's go with the next one. All right, yeah, casi terminamos. D, right? This one is easy. You just need to match the verbs to the nouns, right? That's it. So this one, guys, if we use had, which one do you think it is? Tennis. Tennis? Had, tennis, uh, all right. Vamos a ver esa. I see. Mm -hmm. But, picnic. yes, that's correct. Had a picnic, right? Play tennis, right? Because it's a sport, right? Mm -hmm. Porque es un deporte. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it's okay, ah, don't sí. worry. No se preocupe. Está pensando, <laughs> I, 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 I was to feel. Uh -huh. Oh. It's a shoes. In the shoes. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. No, yes, yes, it, yeah, I understand. Sí, sí, y en ese caso sería correcto. Pero como hay un verbo yeah. después, ajá, 
then it means that it's a sport, all right? Mm -hmm. But it's okay, you're good, you're good. All right, play tennis, right? Next one, took. Which one do you think it is? How do you call this? When you have the phone mm -hmm. like this? Photos. There mm -hmm. you go. Took photos. That's a, that's that's correct. Next one. Went. Went. Swimming. That's correct. And the last one. So. So. A play. Es la que nos queda, right? A play. In this case, that's correct. In this case, a play means um, una obra teatral, right? Así se le dice en inglés. Uh, we mm. saw a play, right? Um, play can mean a lot of things. In this case, it means obra teatral, right? Ese verbo puede significar un montón de cosas. Y en este caso significa obra teatral. En otros casos significa jugar. En otros casos significa reproducir, como la música, por ejemplo. Play some music. Reproduce mm -hmm. música, right? So, cualquiera de esos tres puede significar. Cool. Any questions here? ¿Alguna pregunta acá? Mm -mm. Okay. So, let's go with the next one. Ya casi terminamos. This one it says, select the correct form of the verb. Select the correct form of the verb to complete the sentences, right? This one is easy because you just need to complete the sentences, right? So the first one, it ends, a good weekend. So if we're talking about the weekend, it means it's in the past. But like I see, si hablamos de la fin de semana, como que yo les pregunte, ¿cómo estuvo su fin de semana? El pasado, right? Entonces, ¿cuál creen que sea? Ya dijimos que la, si estamos haciendo la pregunta, comienza con el verbo, all right? En este caso, con did. Did you have. Exactly, exactly. Did you have. Y no, no es did you have, right? Porque ya habíamos dicho que el did ya convierte en pasado la oración. Entonces, el siguiente verbo ya no tiene que ir en pasado. Tiene que ir en presente. All right? Did you have. Porque ya la, ya la traduce al pasado. All right? So, let's go with the, the letter B. It says, not really. I, which one Sabied. it is? Sabied. This one Sabied. or this one? Sorry. This one? Third. Third. The first. First. first, perfect, first. perfect, that's correct. Mm -hmm. All right then, so let's continue. And then it says, anything last weekend? What it will be, did they, did they did? Did they do? Which one do you think it is? Did they do? Perfect, right? Porque el siguiente verbo ya va en presente porque el did ya lo transforma. All right? So that's it. All right, let's go with letter B. Yes, they. Let's go. Pero en pasado, ¿cuál sería? When. That's correct. Yes, they went hiking in the woods, right? Aquí se le fue una O, so don't pay attention to that. All right, so let's go with the next one. Letter A, it says the answers and then anything at the mall. What it will be? Did she get, did she did get, or did she got? Did she, did she got. get. Did she get. Did she get. She get. Did she get. Yes. Because the very in person. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Did she get, as you said, Astrid, the verb, the next verb goes in present. Awesome. So the answer will be no. She went shopping, but she anything. She what it will didn't, be? Didn't didn't, didn't, didn't buy. buy buy didn't buy. That's yeah. correct. No, she went shopping, but she didn't buy anything, and that's it. Right? Si se fijan, esas son todas las oraciones. All right. Did you have a good weekend? Not really, I started a weekend. Did they do anything last weekend? Yes, they went hiking in the woods. Did she get anything at the mall? No, she went shopping, but she didn't buy anything. And that's it. Any questions to this one? 
¿Alguna pregunta en ese? No, oh, yes, no. maybe. All right then. So neither. Let's, all right then. So let's move on to the next one. And this one, you just needed to read, right? You just needed to read the article and then answer some questions, right? For example, it says, what did Jerry go to the basement? So if we see there, it says Jerry Carson 16. Um, I'm on a cosa. ¿Quién me ayuda a leer el primer párrafo? Quiero ver, aquí no le he escuchado la voz casi. Oh, who said me? As, uh, me. As it. All right, as it. Help me read just the first paragraph, please. Okay. Jerry Carson, 16. 16 had a terrible weekend. His parents went to visit his house, but be but he stayed home. He grabbed her early on Saturday and went downstairs to the base basement mm -hmm. to do laundry. To do laundry. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you. Um, Dennis, help me read the second paragraph, please. Hi, everyone. Hi, Dave. Hi. Hello, Denise. Are you there? <clears throat> he went back on stairs, but at the top of the stairs, the door was locked. He puts up it, but it did not open. He called to his neighbors, but they did not hear him. Hear him. Perfect, thank you very much. So we already have the answer for the first one, right? It says, why did Jerry go to the basement? Why did Jerry go to the basement? The answer is on the first paragraph. To do laundry. That's it, to do laundry. right? Perfect, so that's it. Next question, where did Jerry sleep? All right, so sigamos leyendo a ver dónde encontramos esa, um, esa, esa Respuesta. Let's see. I want. Let me check. Mayoret, can you help me read the third uh, paragraph, please? El tercer párrafo. Who se fue? All right. In that case, I want. Marcela, are you there? Marcela? Yes. Okay, awesome, thank you. Can you help me read the third paragraph? Yes. yes. Luckily, Jerry had food to eat. There were some extra groceries in the, in the basement and he had a place to sleep. He put some clothes from the laundry on the floor and slept, slept, slept on them. I'm sorry, I was in mute. Uh, so we already have the answer. Thank you very much, Marcela. So we already have the answer to the second question that it says, where did Jerry sleep? Where did Jerry sleep? Did he uh, slept on the floor, on his yes. bed, or on the sofa? On the floor. Jerry on sleep the floor. on the floor. That's correct. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Jerry slept on the floor because the door was locked, right? So let's go with the third one. It says, why did Jerry's parents return home Sunday morning, right? ¿Por qué los papás de Jerry regresaron hasta el domingo en la tarde? Juan, Campos, can you help me read the last paragraph? Hi, everyone. Uh, his parents came home Sunday morning and found Jerry in the basement. We called Jerry late Saturday night, but he didn't answer the phone. Said his father, we come, we came home right away. We are just happy he's all right. Perfect, thank you very much, Juan. So we already have the answer for the last question. Why? Why did they, why did Jerry's parents return home Sunday morning, right? What do you think? 
Um, because there is a difference in the past in this pairing. That is correct. The, the last one. That's correct. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Amitkar. That's correct. Is the last one. Why? Because Jerry didn't answer the phone when his parents called to check on him. So they were worried, and that's the reason why they that's the reason why yeah. I'm sorry, they returned. That's yeah. it. All right. Let's click on submit, and that should be it, right? Correct yep. 15 or 15, right? And that's it, guys. That will be all for the test. Do you have any questions about the test, guys? What is uh, basement? Basement. Basement as sótano. Oh, oh, I mm -hmm. didn't know. Thank you. It's okay. Don't worry. You're welcome. All right. If there are no questions, guys, are you sure there are no questions about the exam? Don? No. No more okay. questions. All right, then. So in that case, as you requested. Any questions? Yes, Amilcar, tell me. Um, what meaning um, wiki? Is he here? Which one? And and the third, the third. Yes. Oh, this one okay this one yes luckily luckily is like you say afortunadamente ah okay 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 mm -hmm. thank you you're welcome don't worry all right then guys any other questions about any other word that is there alguna otra palabra que say? Nope. no all right no then. more question no okay perfect then. so in that case let's go and explain a bit more about was and where, all right, as you requested. So was and where, right? So this one, guys, lo vamos a hacer así. Vamos a hacer la diferencia acá, all right? So, vamos a comenzar desde el principio y no es que me esté dependiendo del tema, pero let's talk about simple present first. All right, hablamos de presente simple primero. Simple present, all right? Simple present. Yeah. Simple present, verb to be. Pongámoslo de una vez. Right? Simple present, verb to be. ¿Se recuerdan cuál es el verbo to be en presente simple? Am, um, uh -huh. is, are. Uh -huh. Are, that's it, right? Y dijimos que el verbo to be se puede ocupar para un montón de razones, ¿o no? Yes. How you feel, right? Cómo se sienten, qué son, si estudian, qué están estudiando, y que, si trabajan, a dónde están trabajando, right? So there are a lot of reasons it's the why. Soul, it's the soul of the language, right? <laughs> yes, that's correct. In other words, that's the correct definition, right? It's like the soul of the language. Without this one, you cannot communicate who you are. You cannot communicate what you do in a lot of things, right? But a lot of people are afraid of this one. And don't worry. Um, you just need to be explained in a clear way to understand what we're talking about, right? So what happens with... This one, como esto existe también en el pasado, sí, pero como yep. se dice. So, the simple past of the verb to be es todavía un poquito más simple. Para am, um, vamos a poner acá, am. Um, and is, we use was. Y para are, utilizamos where. All right? Vamos a poner así. Okay? Para. Here 
Coba ya. Ay, qué feo se ve. Espérenme. Ya casi llega. Vaya, sí, dejémoslo. <ríe> Sorry. No. Sí, es que para que se vea ordenadito, para que se vea ordenadito. Ok, I like it. Right. I like it. Take <ríe> yes. your time, don't worry. Thank you. All right, so if you notice, guys, es como que digamos singular y plural. Si no le quieren decir singular y plural, no se preocupen. El pasado de are is where. Y el pasado de am and is sería was. was. Right? Exactly. Right. So, this one, en otras palabras, en otras palabras, guys, this one is singular. Oops. Yep. Y en otras palabras, este yep. es plural. Right? Sorry. Right? So, this is singular and this is plural. Right? And It's just like saying the same thing, but in the past, all right? For example, una fácil, I am a teacher. ¿Cómo sería este entonces en pasado? I was a teacher. I was a teacher. And that's it, right? Singular, porque estoy hablando solo de yo, de mí. Sorry, solo de mí. De yo. Right. I'm sorry. Se me fue. Ahí esa palabrita. So se I'm sal, just talking about myself. los salvadoreños. Exactly. All right. So para que vean, ¿verdad? So I yeah, am a teacher. Representando. That's correct. I was a teacher. Right? ¿Qué otra es singular? Hagamos esa misma con she. She. ¿Qué? ¿Cuál es el verbo to be de she? If she is a teacher. Perfect. ¿Y cómo sería en pasado? She, she was a teacher. She was a teacher. That is correct. That's it. Y exactamente lo mismo por aquí, right? He is a teacher. Is a teacher. Y lo mismo para pasado. He was a teacher. a teacher. That's it. Esos son los singulares. All right? Lo vamos a poner otra vez en un recuadrito para que lo hagamos diferencia, right? Y vamos con los plurales. Si hablamos de plural, ¿cuáles serían los pronombres en plural, guys? They, for example, they, ¿Mm? they. Con esa misma trabajemos. Okay. They, We en they. presente. Perdón. We, they. We and they, that's correct. Right? Ahí están al revés, pero no se preocupen, es lo mismo. All right? They. ¿Cuál es el verbo to be para they? Are. Are. Perfect. Right? Like the pirates. Are. Mm -hmm. Or, right. Ah, yeah. Are, yes. Good so, reference. Good reference. Yes, that's correct. So, they are... Teachers, right? Por qué? Le puede decir por qué. Oops. Because it's plural. Perfect. Eso exactamente iba a decir. Thank you very much. <laughs> right? If it's singular, si es singular y solo se están refiriendo a una cosa, utilizamos a, a teacher. Pero como es plural, right? Ya no utilizamos a. Entonces hacemos la palabra en plural. Generalmente es con una s. Right, no siempre, pero en este caso sí. Teacher. Right, dígame. In the verbs without S. When it's exactly. singular. Exactamente. Y el verbo es sin la S cuando es singular. Right, eso es imperativo, así como tú dijiste. Right, acá no lleva una S. Right, porque no es plural, es singular. Es una cosa, no muchas. Ok. Y en la otra sí, porque no nos sabemos a cuánta gente nos estamos refiriendo. Eso sí, es más de dos personas, right Por ejemplo, Vicky y Amilcar son dos personas, entonces ya no puedo utilizar uh, she or he, right porque son dos personas. Utilizo they, right They are teachers, right? We are teachers, right? Teachers. ¿Cómo sería entonces estas dos 
pasado. Ok. They were. were perfect. Teachers, right? Were. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We were. Teachers, teacher. Teachers, that's correct. That is right. So let's do this like this. Okay. I like I like that phrase that, that, that you already said. How, how is it? Is that's it right? Yeah. Uh, yes, that is right. <laughs> that's right. It sounds awesome. It's, it sounds cool, right? <laughs> yeah, it sounds cool. <laughs> yeah. That's correct. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, son mis muletillas, actually. <laughs> yes. No, no, no. It, it, it isn't sounds like that. Oh, okay. No, pues de yo. Yo les digo. <laughs> que okay. sí, esas son mis muletillas. All right. So, okay. that's it, guys. Eso es todo con el was y el where. So, what happens here is that, oops. All right. That sometimes is confusing because we don't know when to use it. All right. But... It's just a past, the simple past of um, the verb to be. Solamente es el pasado simple del verbo to be. Ahora, si se quieren adelantar al, um, al pasado participio, es aún más fácil el verbo to be, porque es uno solo para todos. El past, eso lo van a ver ya en unos dos cursos, pero para que ya sepan, el pasado participio del verbo to be es been para todos. Ahí uh -huh. no cambia para, para, para el he o para el she o para el they. Ahí es uno solo para todos. Entonces, digamos que de cierta manera es, es más fácil. All right? It's so, easier. It's easier. That's correct. Yeah. Porque digamos que se van depurando. Right? Para singular se convierte en uno solo para todos en el pasado. Y uno solo también para todos en el pasado simple. Y en el participio es uno solo para todos todos los pronombres y nombres, right? Si es que quieren utilizar los nombres. Pero el partido participio ahorita no le pongan atención, solo es para que vean el ejemplo. ¿Cómo es que se desglosa el verbo to be en presente simple, pasado simple y pasado participio? Ahorita solamente estamos trabajando con presente simple y pasado simple. All right? So, it's, this is just for your knowledge. Esto es solo para su conocimiento. All right? Pero de ahí no se preocupen ahorita, todavía. How, uh, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, how do you say depurando en inglés? En inglés. Um, deleting. Because deleting? It's, the same, it's the same as erasing. Yes, es como lo mismo de borrar o deshacerte de algo. Ah, um, ah. Igual, depurar. Ah, es que depurar tiene muchos significados. Si es no. para esto... Sería deleting. Si es, por ejemplo, para un programa de computadoras, es debugging. It's a bit confusing. Pero si es para texto, ideas, etc., uh, that would be deleting. Si es para un uh, computer program, para los que saben de programación, por ejemplo, That is called the bugging. The bugging. Oh, okay. At the bugging. Yes. At the bug. But that's for okay. people that, that do the codes from the programs. Para la gente que hace los códigos de los programas, de, que ellos tienen que hacer programas. Web programmers. That's uh -huh, right. Yeah. Web programmers okay. do this. But for okay. the other things, we don't use the bugging because bug is literally uh, from the computers. Right? No, solo el bug no se utiliza para cuando hablamos, sino que solo es para lo de las computadoras. A menos que se refieran a un insecto. <laughs> right? It's kind of confusing. Pero no se fijen en eso. All right? Para que veas la diferencia. Right? Por si ven, por ejemplo, que dice I'm debugging something, se refieren a un programa de computadoras. Deleting es borrando okay. o depurando. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So guys, do you think that now is clear was and where? ¿Les gustaría que les dé más ejemplos? Yes. 
for me, it's okay. Yeah. For you, it's okay. What about the rest? Thank you, Dean. Please, teacher, and question, for example. Oh, okay, perfect. Thank you. I forgot about that one. <laughs> yes. No me se me olvidó lo más importante, mire. Wait. Llegamos a un ladito esto. And let's make questions here. Okay. Llegamos las preguntas aquí a un ladito. So, questions, guys. Vamos a ponerlo aquí. They work the same for any type of question. All right. Funcionan lo mismo para cualquier tipo de preguntas. Es más, hasta nos vamos a adelantar un poquito, pero para que ya sepan. All right. Porque todavía no han visto las WH questions, right? Todavía no han visto las preguntas WH o ya la piel. Es que es where, why, how. Yes, en in, in section, for example, in video, um, way, why. Ah, entonces ya la vieron. Wow. I'm sorry. Ah, pues yo me confundí de curso. Perfecto. Entonces, Come on. Yes, I'm sorry, guys. I have a lot of courses right now. <laughs> yes. So, guys, questions, they work the same for any type of questions. All right. La estructura de las preguntas funciona para cualquier tipo de preguntas. ¿A qué me refiero con esto? De que siempre, siempre, siempre el verbo va a ir al principio. Les voy a poner un ejemplo. En la oración esta, si es que hacemos una fórmula, sería subject, o no sé si lo conocen como por noun, right, or name, luego va el verbo, right, y luego va el complemento, ¿sí o no? Yes. That's correct. Ahora, digamos que lo que pasa con las preguntas es que se invierte esa fórmula. ¿A qué me refiero con invertir? Que cambiamos de posición el sujeto con el verbo. Solo le damos vuelta. Right? Verb plus subject plus complement. Y es más, solo una cosita más se le agrega, que es el qué. El Complement. That's correct. Uh, si question meta, mark. Question that mark. That is correct. Question mark. Question Así mark. se le dice. Se le dice signo de interrogación. All right. Lo vamos a poner en paréntesis. You're welcome. So, question mark. Eso es lo único que se le agrega. Ahora, hagamos esa misma oración, guys. La de teacher. La primera no, porque la primera va a sonar bien filosófica. Soy una yeah, maestra. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> la primera no, porque no nos estamos. Like you, you lost your memory or, or something uh -huh. like that. That's because correct. Because of the head. <laughs> That's yeah, correct. Yeah, on, on the head, right? That's correct. So not the first, the first one, no. Uh, okay. Porque si ella es una pregunta más filosófica y ahorita no estamos en filosofía. <laughs> All right. ¿Cómo sería entonces la segunda oración en pregunta? La segunda oración. The Solo second le damos vuelta. Uh -huh. Okay. If she was teacher, ah no. Okay. Was is she teacher? Yes. Las dos son correctas. So, hagamos primero la de presente. Is she a teacher? Right? Y en pasado, ¿cómo sería? Was she, she a, a teacher? teacher? Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's it. All right? Mm -hmm. The only okay. thing that changes, guys, for any type of questions is that. Hay una pequeña diferencia, all right? Si es que estamos utilizando un solo verbo, va así, okay? Si es una WH question, si es un, si es did, si es have, uh, pongámoslo aquí. Y son varias más, pero hasta ahorita ese me recuerdo. Si es WH question. Ah, y no me acuerdo la otra, pero se las puedo mandar por el chat. Cambia un poquito. Solo una cosa cambia en, el, en la fórmula. Sería el aux, all right? En este caso, le podemos llamar un auxiliar, all right? O por ejemplo, la WH question iría al principio. Luego iría el verbo. Luego iría, y, y luego iría todo lo demás. 
All right. Pongámosle aquí mejor the formula. ¿Y a qué fórmula nos estamos refiriendo? A esta, right? Así. A la fórmula esta, all right? Okay. W questions from plus the formula. Sí, si para. Bueno, escribámosla todo. Solo para que la tengan, la tengan completa. Aquí abajito para que se vea bien. Digamos la WH question. La WH question sería así. Question plus verb plus subject plus complement plus question mark. Ah, no, perdón. Cuando es pregunta WH, cambia de posición aquí. Subject and verb. ¿Por qué? Were you? No, pero me quiero ver. What? Why? How? How was? How were you doing? How was? Who was live? Ah, pues no estoy equivocada. Siempre va así. Okay. Siempre va el verbo acá y siempre va el sujeto acá. Sorry, es que tenía que poner el ejemplo para acordarme. So. How, how are you, por ejemplo, right? La pregunta que siempre le hago al principio de la clase. <laughs> how are you, right? En este caso, agregamos un complemento. Today, right? How, una pregunta WH, are, el verbo, subject, you, y el complemento. Today, right? Y luego la preguntita. All right. Si se fijan, la única cosa que cambia es que antes del verbo le pondrían cualquier otro. Eh, cualquier otro auxiliar. En este caso, el auxiliar sería la WH. Right. How are you today? Pongamos otro ejemplo. Um, con el did, did, did you leave early last Saturday, all right, en este caso sí cambia, la W, la W, todas las que son WH va a seguir el mismo, pero si es did y si es have, se hace como una oración normal, Right? ¿A qué me refiero con esto? Que sería did plus subject plus verb plus complement plus question mark. Uy, perdí por arriba. Plus question mark. All right? You Leave early last Saturday, right? Vamos a ponerlo en anaranjado, right? Si es did o si es have, iría así. Subject plus verb plus complement, all right? Digamos que no se quita este cuadrito para que no se vea. Okay. Esta fórmula se las puedo enviar al WhatsApp. Para que las, las tengan de ahí. All right. Entonces esa sería la única diferencia. Acuérdense siempre, siempre que cuando hacen preguntas, el verbo siempre va a ir al principio. Por ejemplo, can I ask you something? Le puedo preguntar a la, algo. Right? O, ¿cómo puedo decir? O, ¿Qué es lo que puedo decir en lugar de tal cosa? Por ejemplo, can I say this instead of this, puedo decir esto en lugar de esto, right? Porque uno de los errores más comunes que hay es que cuando hacemos preguntas, las hacemos como oraciones. No es lo mismo decir, uh, ¿cuál fue el ejemplo que le di? Can I say, can I say, um, 
sorry, right? I decir, I can say sorry. La segunda no es pregunta. Right? La segunda ya es una oración confirmando algo. Right? I can say sorry. Si, a, si quieren hacer pregunta de eso es, can I say sorry? O por ejemplo, cuando estoy, cuando estoy en clases presenciales, me dicen, I can go to the bathroom. I can go to the bathroom. Right? Ese ya es una hora, ya es algo que me están afirmando que van a hacer. No me están preguntando qué quieren hacer. Para hacer, una pre, para hacer eso, una pregunta, ¿cómo sería, guys? Si ya les dije que el verbo va al principio. Can I go to the bathroom? That is correct. Can I go to the bathroom? Right? Ahí sí es pregunta, right? Porque solo lo invertimos. Or to the restroom, right? Or restroom, yes. Bathroom, restroom. Right? Bathroom, restroom. So as I said, you just turn it around. All right? Así se dice darle vuelta. Turn it around. That's it. Eso es lo que se hace con las preguntas. All right? Turn it around. El que vamos a darle vuelta, le vamos a dar vuelta al sujeto. Right? Y al verbo, no, por de otro color. Y al verbo, ¿ok? Si es una oración confirmando o denegando algo, el sujeto va primero. Y después el verbo y luego el complemento. Pero si quieren hacer una pregunta, el verbo va primero, luego el sujeto y luego el complemento. That's it. All right. No sé si hoy está un poquito más claro. Clear. Clear? Everybody? Todos? Yes. Okay, yes. awesome then. All right, guys. So that's been that's been for today. Eh, de verdad que ha sido un placer haberlos conocido. Y bueno, me alegra haberlos conocido uh, to begin with. All right, para comenzar. And it's been a pleasure to be your teacher, guys. You had a great, you had a great, um, you were good and you had a great uh, improvement uh, on overall on the course. So I would like to congratulate you on that. Congrats guys that you already finished this. Also remember that you have until today before 11.59 p.m. to finish the module, all right? To finish the platform. Recuerden que tienen hasta hoy, antes de las 11.59, para terminar el módulo. Si ya lo terminaron, hagan caso omisto a este mensaje. <ríe> no se preocupen. Y recuerden que hasta el 23 de diciembre tienen para entregar los documentos para el siguiente módulo. ¿Ok? Okay. So, 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 so. Yes. Do we, do we need to, to, to do the same process to getting at the beginning of this course, right? That is correct. For each new course, you have to do the same thing. Para cada nuevo curso siempre tienen que hacer lo mismo. Fill up. Okay. Fill up, fill up the, the, the form and, and then like that, everything, right? Yes, all the documents okay, they sorry. ask and fill out the, the form again. You're welcome. All right, guys, do you have any questions before we go? Tienen alguna pregunta antes de que nos veamos? I have uh, just one last question. All right. How can get a job there <laughs> as a teacher? No, but it's um, real. Yes, real, in real, that case, you, you can ask uh, Miss Elena. Miss Elena is the person that hires oh. the teachers. Yes, in that case, you have to talk to her. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm just working for okay. them. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I, I, I have been a teacher, but in a, uh, just a few days with uh, some friends. Okay. And I think that I, I'm, I'm, I'm good doing it. All right, then. Yes, at you can answer. At least for the basic, at the basic, at the basic <laughs> level, at least, I think. I think. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry. You can answer. I would like That's to try. I would like to try. 
Okay. Sure. Okay. Yeah, thank no you. problem. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. So thank you very much, guys. It's been a pleasure meeting you. And I hope to see you on the next course. I hope you have a good day and a wonderful night. Take care, guys. See you. Bye bye, thank guys. You. Thank You're you. Welcome. See you. Teacher, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Vicky. Nice to meet you, everybody. Good Thank night. You. Good night, bye guys. Bye, Thank you, bye everyone. Nice to meet bye you. Bye bye, guys. Nice, nice to talk to you. you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. You do. Thank you. Me too. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Dennis. Bye bye. Bye bye, bye, -bye teacher. Good night, everyone. Bye, you, teacher. Sarah. Nice to meet you. Bye, Astrid. Nice teacher. meeting you. Thank you. It was my pleasure as well. Take care, guys. I hope to see you later. I hope to see you in the next course. Bye. Bye, guys. Take care. I'm, I'm very sad tonight. Yes, me too. I'm sorry. But it's a good thing that you finished and that you completed everything. Yes. All right, then. I have to finish the call. I'm sorry. So, I, But I hope to see you later, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. You have been very excellent. Thank you very much, Amilcar. All right, then. See you, See you Amilcar. Goodbye. Bye-bye.